Hey guys, Slar here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm showing you guys some new Fortnite map changes and showing you guys what's going on with the storyline so far. Now, I haven't been playing this in a while, so I missed a lot of stuff. I want you guys to let me know anything that I miss in this video and let me know any storyline changes that you guys think will happen. And, you know, give me any theories you guys have. So, anyway, let's get right into it. We're just going to some map changes. So, as you can see here, uh, this is where the queue first started. Probably isn't like that because it's not in the actual area. So, once it loads in, this is gonna be like destroyed so it's not actually like this you know it looks like it even with the chest but uh, you know i'm not 100 sure because i haven't went to this area in playgrounds and you can't really see it so yeah let's move on this is the path of the cube itself and <laughs> they go around here i don't know the actual path but you can tell where it came from because it kept destroying stuff in its way so as you can see the clear path right here and it actually i'm pretty sure it broke this area right here like it just stomped on this whole like shack left this door so i kind of like that it's cool and as you can see here, there's a force field around it, or not really a force field, like a gravity shield. And uh, yeah, if you jump in this area, you'll get like gravity stumps. You just jump up and down like I am right now. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be like the theme for season six, for, like the abilities. Like we had in season four, we had the hot rock. Season five, we had the rifts. And season six, I'm pretty sure it's going to be gravity jumping around the map, gravity areas, which is similar to hot rocks if you look at it. I call that from the start, but uh, let's not go into that. As you can see here, there's some symbol that was placed. And this actually was the actual area for the cube, but I'm pretty sure it moved again. If you actually look inside the cube, it's kind of like really messed up. I'm not going to go into the reason what this could be because it could not be loaded in yet, to be honest. I've seen videos on it, like one from Drifter where he talks about how this is a Tesseract. We don't really know what this could be. At first, what I thought this was going to be was actual, like, you know, a cube, the cube from Reboot. I'll get onto this later, but this actually reminded me of uh, Reboot. So, yeah, like when they actually go into the... This cube area, it starts in like a whole bunch of glitches. And this also relates to the real world with like uh, computers and stuff. Because when there's a glitch, uh, like, you know, that's what Reboot is. That's what the show's based off of. So this could be an actual glitch. But like I said, I'll get into that later. That's what my theory will be. So I'm not going to talk to you guys about that right now. Or it also could just be like a GameCube meme, as you can see here. Guys, guys, I found out the location of the queue and what it's going to be next, guys. I found out its true purpose. Okay, anyway, uh, yeah, we gotta find out what the symbol could mean. It could actually be related to the bunker. Uh, if you look at it, it's kind of pointing in the direction. If you see here, that's technically... That could technically be an arrow, but we don't know. This could also be, like, a mark where the cube has a force field in it. The shield isn't necessarily around the cube right now. It's around, like, this thing in the middle. So this could be, like, that area, and there's gonna be a bunch of areas like this around the map. So as it goes by... I'm pretty sure this cube is going to take a long trip around the map and I feel like it's going to like do something really big at the end of the season, not just necessarily soon or like this week. I feel like we have a lot of time to find out what this could be. We can only assume that this cube is going to be floating against somewhere a different area and I'm going to be explaining that right now. If I press like uh, play on this, it makes a certain noise and has some marks on it. As you can see here, this is the same mark that's placed on the ground as a print print. And uh, yeah, this sound is... As you can see here, this guy right here, default skin. Yeah, I default. That's not me, by the way. Anyway, uh, let that default explore. Go to where I think the route could be, the next route. I feel like the route's gonna go this way. Uh, it's gonna keep make its way up here, maybe. Potentially on this meteor site. Uh, come around this way. And go around this mountain. And I feel like the next place that it could be, we won't really go on the bridge because it goes on the bridge, it's going to break the whole thing. Now come to think of it, it could be in this little area right here, but it's kind of too close to that. Uh, but, you know, because it looks like it's like kind of a good spot for it to be. Because as you can see from there, there's like a little mountain place that looks perfect for the actual cube to fit. So we got to find areas where the cube actually fit. Now something I do need to mention for the really into the storyline that I forgot to mention in my last video is that we had four coordinates in season four for the rocket launch. And three of those coordinates were used, but it, there's one coordinate that wasn't used, it was H9. H9 is actually the location of where the cube actually spawned in, so that's kind of cool. 
And uh, yeah, it's finally being used now. So this could be like the road trip skin. Sorry, not the road trip skin. Block wedge skin. The visitor skins. Uh, you know, original plan. This could be his doing. He could be involved with this. Maybe he's related with the road trip skin or it's called the enforcer now. In my opinion, the enforcer kind of looks like the exo stranger from Destiny 1. So, uh, you know, it could be a coincidence, but it could be both be time travelers and stuff. Guys, I found the identity of the Enforcer skin. It's actually the Exo Stranger, guys. Confirmed. I'm a genius. Bro, if I'm making a Fortnite video, I gotta add in a Destiny reference in there somewhere. I also will blow Destiny as well, for those who don't know. The actual cube could go around the map. And yeah, we don't know what it will do, but it's gonna be destroying stuff in its path. And it's gonna, you know, go around the map, in my opinion. So yeah, we have to wait for that, though. Next thing I wanna go over is the Enforcer skin. And what happened with it. If you didn't know, the Enforcer skin spawned in with the Motel sign. And as you know, the Motel sign is back. And there's actually a really good theory I have relating to that. Like, I feel like something is definitely going to happen there, which I'll get onto later. As you can see here, the Motel sign is back. And uh, the Enforcer, a bunch of three Enforcer skins, actually, not just one, spawned in with it. If you actually hit this, though, it kind of lights up with electricity. Kind of looks like it, so that's probably the case. Now, we have no idea what the Enforcer will do. But in my opinion, I feel like it's something to do with, like, space police and stuff. Because it's called the Enforcer, and the description of it is something to do with keeping balance and order. So that they're probably like, you know, interdimensional space galaxy police or something. But we have no info on them, to be honest. And uh, anyway, I'm not going to go into them. Just came into the map and they haven't really done anything. So we have to wait and see for other loading screens and what they could do, potentially do for the storyline. So moving on to what I think uh, this motel area could be. I'm like 95% sure this area is going to be a volcano. And why do I think this? Well, as you can see here. This thing says volcano. It used to say vacant. It used to say something else, vacant or vacation or something. But now it says volcano. And this can also relate to this like meteor site. This actually was uh, a meteor crater site for those who didn't know. It's really small, so it's not patched up. So this could be the actual location of the meteor. Or sorry, the volcano. And the volcano could actually be from uh, one of these mountains. Maybe there could be a mountain that spawned in somehow. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely going to be a volcano site. And you might be saying, wow, just because it says volcano doesn't mean it's going to be a volcano. And just, you're making some BS conspiracy theory. Well, uh, also, in the leaks, like, I don't really like using leaks to confirm stuff. But leaks are really good for theories. So for now on, I'm going to start using some leaks to my advantage for theories. And in the leaks, there is a new volcano location or volcano items uh, leaked out for Fortnite. So it was in the coding. So oh, if that doesn't explain enough, then you know, I don't know what will. Probably will be a volcano site. And that's really cool because, you know, I don't, I'm really curious to see what the volcano will do and how it will react with the Fortnite. Will it burn you? Because we don't really have a burn effect in Fortnite so far, at least for Battle Royale. So maybe this could really do like a flamethrower trap that's coming in. Uh, there's a lot of things it can do with this, so I'm just really excited. This, if this is the case and this is a volcano, this will probably be like really big in the storyline. It will affect the storyline for the end of season six and lead on to season seven, similar to the meteor, the missile. So yeah, that's what's going to be. This is going to be really important for the storyline, in my opinion. So if I'm right, you guys gotta, you guys gotta like that video, subscribe, and you know, pay me a hundred bucks VVAL to uh, some V bucks because I need some free V bucks, guys, LA style. Have mercy on me. Three, two, one, drop it. <laughs> Let's go on to the potential theme of a glitch theme. And I called this this at the beginning of season five. And I'm pretty sure there's also gonna be a glitch theme in season six. <laughs> I call this. And what do I think this? In the battle pass, there are a few options that led to like a glitch theme. There was a glitch trail. There was also a bunch of other glitch stuff. And even when you would switch tabs in the Fortnite menu, it would show a glitch effect. So that also relates to the glitch theme. Kind of teasing it from the start. I thought the battle pass didn't have anything important for this season, but it actually had a lot for important for the season. For those who don't know, if you get killed by uh, the cube, if someone shoots it and you're next to it, you take damage, but it gets to zap you with lightning. For example, this default, if someone shoots it and he's quite beside it, he can take damage and potentially die. When he dies on the kill feed, it will show like a cube-like glitch effect, and it won't really say what you died from. It will just show that image, and that also relates to a glitch theme. And relating to the reboot, like I said, reboot is a glitch. So, like, this could be just a reboot easter egg, or it could just be, like, really important for its own theme. Because reboot actually, you know, it makes perfect sense for this to be a reboot theme. For those who actually, you know, watched reboot, you guys might understand it. For all the little kids that played Fortnite, I don't think they will understand this. They probably will not. They probably don't even know what reboot is. So, yeah, let me explain. Reboot's a show that's really old, and it's involving, like, like viruses and, like, 
computers and glitches. And during reboot, there's a purple cube that spawns in. And when that spawns in, you have to go in and it like alters like reality basically. And you have to do all these crazy stuff to escape the cube and beat the cube. And that's about it. It's, if you want, it's actually a decent show. You guys can go search it up. Watch it yourself. I completely forgot that Reboot existed until I saw this. The first thing I thought of when I saw this was a Reboot theme. And I'm not even that old. I'm only 18, so... Oh, sorry, 19. Well, yeah, that's my opinion on this. I was right about this glitch theme. Hopefully this is the case. And hopefully I'm right about the, also the Volcano theme. Anyway, the last thing that I have that could potentially happen is a prehistoric theme. And basically, prehistoric means like caveman, dinosaurs, and everything from the past. In Season 5, we kind of had that, but we didn't have anything to do with prehistoric, technically. And it was Worlds Collide, it wasn't anything to do with time, just like, you know, Worlds Colliding with the real world and stuff. But this isn't really from the real world, this is just like a glitch in Fortnite. Why do I think it will be a prehistoric theme? Well, first of all, caveman skins will be perfect for Fortnite, don't get me wrong. You know, have all these like old western skins, because we were hoping for some western skins, but they didn't come in yet. So that could relate to like time travel and stuff. And we also have these dinosaurs over here. So yeah, this also relates to prehistoric. This could be like come back to life somehow. It could glitch and like actually come back to life. It could be like a, a dinosaur game mode similar to Thanos. One thing we do have is Tyrannosaurus Rex skin. Uh, we also have a... I forgot what this is called. Tyrannosaurus? You're a fucking idiot! I think it's called Tyrannosaurus. I think it's called a Cessothaurus. Like, it's really tall. And, yeah, we don't have this skin yet. So this could be a potential, like, skin coming in soon. Uh, maybe as, like, one of those... Not the full theme, like, the complete theme for Season 6, but, like, as a side theme. That could be it. Similar to, like, the Lutra stuff. Other skins that are in this season right now. We had a lot of mini themes in the season. But, yeah, that's my opinion on this. Definitely expect to have this purple dinosaur-looking skin in the game. Waluigi-looking ass. There's also a thing where people are hearing dinosaurs in Salty Springs. There might be like a whole dinosaur thing here where in Salty Springs. I don't know what the name could be, but there's there's voices of dinosaurs in Salty. That's what people were saying, Ali. So, yeah, that could be it. And there's also the fact that uh, the theory where all the nose head statues or stones were looking at Salty, they were all looking at this... Like mountain right here so this mountain could be used still somehow because it was only used for like a challenge anyway guys that's the video uh let me know any theories you guys have and let me know what you guys think about these theories and uh yeah i'll catch you guys next time peace